Welcome to the wash daily. Today in news, there's been a big find in Russia. What they found was gold bongs buried deep in the earth. They feel like these probably came from the Scythians. Now, although cannabis is known to be, have been used for a long time all over the world, China and India, uh, one of the first people who are credited with using it as an euphoriant are the Scythians. And they were a warrior class. One of the writings details that they were in a sauna situation, uh, probably after a battle, and somebody throws some weed on the sauna. It says they all screamed for joy. So that's kind of a fun reading. I think that's probably true. It probably is the Scythians. They seem like they would have had golden bombs. So, you know, another thing that happened, Cannabis Now, or Cannabis Is Now publication, what they were doing is highlighting the exciting history of hemp in our country uh, from George Washington, and he had grown hemp, everyone had grew hemp back then, so no surprise there, but he was upset that he hadn't separated the males and the females, and so people who are in the know realize that is about smoking nugs, because when you're growing hemp next to uh, female cannabis plants, there's a problem for the female cannabis plants. They're gonna get seeds, it's gonna get all screwed up. You don't want that. And in his writing, he was really upset that he hadn't separated the males from the females, which in a detective way says, George Washington was interested in smoking cannabis. And you know, why wouldn't he have been? He had an endocannabinoid system and you know, he probably supported his, you know, he's a very supportive guy. Uh, you know, the first flag of the uh, of the nation, um, the Betsy Ross flag, uh, is rumored to be made of hemp. And why wouldn't it have been? They didn't have nylon yet, and they didn't have uh, other kind of materials available. They weren't even using flax till around then to make linen. Uh, so it more than likely was uh, hemp. Uh, there was an article today in the news talking about how hemp is a known phytoremediator. What that means is that it's a plant that remediates soil naturally. And so, one of the thing, one of the attributes about hemp is it leaves the soil in better condition than it started it. And so, why aren't we using this? Why are we spending billions upon billions of dollars uh, decontaminating this toxic soil all over our country? We should just be growing hemp plants. If we we're growing hemp plants, we'd be offsetting CO2. We could use that material to make plastics, which would not be uh, polluting the oceans forever as they currently are. You know how much how many whales are coming up in the ocean with their bellies full of straws and plastic bags and everything else, you know? And so one thing that's really happening and is really good is that people are paying a lot more attention to the plastic items they're using, especially within the legal cannabis industry. Uh, we reported on that yesterday, um, that there's a big transition happening where, you know, what needs to happen, it needs to be illegal to put out petroleum plastic products. That should just be it. Instead of making cannabis legal, how about we make the plastic petroleum products illegal? Thanks for watching The Wash daily. Thanks for watching The Wash daily.